Kia ora team, the next part to our uh, Responsible Behaviours and Outdoor Education Activities uh, series is um, we're going to look at self-management and teamwork and also I think we're going to throw in following instructions at the end there too. So starting with self-management. Self-management is a type of behaviour modification strategy that helps you learn how to manage your own behaviour instead of depending on factors such as rewards and punishments from an external source such as your teacher. You learn to be responsible for your own behaviour which increases the likelihood that desired behaviours will continue over time because you feel a sense of empowerment and control. The purpose of self-management of a student's behaviour is to increase a positive behaviour or decrease a problem behaviour by teaching the student or the child how to take responsibility for his or her actions. According to uh, some research done at a university in America, techniques for self-management of behaviour teach the student to be the agent of change instead of being over-dependent on a teacher or other adult to approve or correct his or her behaviour. Sorry about it being cut off at the bottom there. The benefits of self-management include allowing the student to be the control agent which allows the teacher to focus on teaching instead of having to focus on controlling the behaviour of the student or the classroom. Techniques for self-management give students and teachers a positive way to deal with punishment and thus reinforce behavioural management techniques that are educational and empowering. Okay, now we're going to move on to teamwork. Teamwork is defined in Webster's New World Dictionary as a joint action by a group of people in which each person subordinates his or her individual interests and opinions to the unity and efficiency of the group. In other words, they're not so worried about uh, themselves, but they're more worried or concerned about what the team or the group achieves together. This doesn't mean that the individual is no longer important, however it does mean that effective and efficient teamwork goes beyond individual accomplishments. The most effective teamwork is produced when all the individuals involved harmonise their contributions and work towards a common goal. The significance of this is, the concept of teamwork is extremely important to the success of any team. All coaches talk about working as one unit, as a unified team. Teamwork and unselfishness create the backbone of a great team, we all know that. Without them, a team cannot realistically compete. You can have a group of superstars, but if they do not work well as one unit, chances are they're not going to be successful as you would think. The team working as one cohesive unit is going to be the key in their success. A good example here is the USA basketball team known as the Dream Team. In recent history, the team have experienced some large defeats from other countries around the world, despite the Dream Team having a stacked roster with 12 of the highest paid and most skilled basketball players on the planet. The reason for some of their failures could be narrowed down to expecting 12 overpaid superstars to come together and work as a team with as little as six weeks of training. As we know, having 12 superstars doesn't necessarily guarantee success, and countries with teams that have been together for years are starting to make inroads into the USA dominance of world basketball. What I want you to do now is click on the pop-up to have a, have a look at a, a video talking about some of the benefits of working well within a team. Make sure you take a couple of notes on this as well and um, have a good watch of it. Moving on to following instructions. Following instructions. This sounds easy enough, but often it isn't. For some people, it's the key to most of their academic problems. They read or hear one set of instructions, but the teacher is given different instructions. Some students deliberately ignore instructions. They wing it. They think they can scrape by doing any old thing they choose. And they're wrong, but they refuse to change. It doesn't matter how good a job you do if you do the job wrong. You're going to get a bad grade. Following instructions is important in helping students learn new skills and function well in different environments. Instructions can teach students new skills step by step or let them know what to do next. It is an important part of learning and or being part of a classroom or group learning environment. The benefits to following instructions are quite simple and common sense. You should all know them. Instead what I want you to do is click on the pop-up and take a look at what happens when you lack the communication skills to follow instructions by watching this clip from Monty Python. It's quite funny.